JJ, there's something incredibly strange going on in the village. You have to come out and see it. What could possibly be going on out there, Mikey? It seems like a perfectly ordinary day to me. Oh, friends, look. An unknown man has decided to give away diamonds to ordinary villagers? That's really, really weird. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The villagers told me today that it's some incredibly talented mechanic. Apparently, he earned all those diamonds from his inventions. Machines. Anything. We'll have to find out more from him. Yes, that's a really good idea. But let's see what he does next for now. What's he even talking about? Villagers, I understand your problem. I understand that a lot of people are short of diamonds. Here you go. I have enough for everyone. I want to help the village and all its people very much. So take these diamonds and be happy. JJ, let's go after him as fast as we can. He's about to run to his new home. He just built it recently. He has already scattered so many diamonds. I've almost got a stack. I was wondering how he got so many diamonds. Hey man, will you give us some time? We'd like to understand where you got so many diamonds from. Can you tell us a secret? Yeah, no problem. I thought everyone in this village knew what I do. It's a very, very lucrative business. I have an incredible amount of diamonds. So, my business is that I turn ordinary cars into invisible cars. It's very popular in the city. Whoa, really? So these dark shadows are cars. But how do you do it? We'd like to find out. I can't tell you the secret of my work because I make a lot of diamonds from it. It's my business. Are you selling these cars to some spies? Or, what's the purpose of doing something like this in the first place? For spies. For bandits. For a lot of other people who will pay me a lot of money. This technology is completely unique. Mikey, look! There's a lot of different mechanisms in here. Apparently working with them helps to completely hide these machines. Yeah, it looks incredible. I'd like to do something like that. But I guess we won't even get the chance. Friends, follow me quickly. I thought you might like to see my house that I just built. There's a lot of space, a lot of rooms. I need to make repairs and put in new furniture. Then my house will look really cool. Wow, it's really very cool. I've always wanted a house like this. Maybe I can even build one someday, if I earn diamonds. I give out diamonds all the time. There's enough for everyone. I have so many upstairs, I had to build a separate room. You really are a very kind man. We'd like to help the villagers ourselves, but so far we can only protect them from monsters. It's also very important what you do, even though you won't get as many diamonds as I have. Thank you very much for the tour. We were very interested to see what your business is all about. We'll probably go about our business now. Thank you for listening to me. I'd really like to tell someone this secret, but it would hit my income. If you need an invisible machine for your missions, I'd be happy to help you. I'll make it very cool, strong, and invisible. I don't think we have enough diamonds for that. But thanks for the offer. We'll definitely come back for a little walk together. Friends, the most important thing is to be honest. You can achieve anything you want. You just have to do it the honest way. Yes, thank you very much for the advice. We will definitely try to follow it and earn a lot of diamonds. JJ, let's get out of here as fast as we can. We have a lot of things to do that we can get diamonds for. What do you think about it? I think we can earn a lot. Since he's selling these cars, we should get to his place at night and steal them. Of course, and steal his diamonds. But how can we steal his cars? We need to find the keys and of course see where to get in. They're invisible. For that, we'll turn to the witch. She always has a potion for every occasion. I'm sure we can work something out. That's a brilliant idea, JJ. Let's go as fast as we can and find out from her. If there really is some kind of potion, we'll get it. I feel like taking all the diamonds away from that man and taking them for myself. Because he certainly didn't get them in a very honest way. Since he sells cars to the highest bidder, he can no longer be considered a good man, especially if he's selling cars to bandits. It's forbidden to trade with them in our village. Mikey and JJ, it's good to see you. What has happened so far that you decided to come to me? Can I help you? Which, have you heard about the male technician from our house? We want to steal his cars and take all the diamonds. Do you happen to have a potion that would remove this invisibility so we could steal his cars? Of course I do. 
Really? We're very lucky if that's really the case. How much would it cost to buy it from you? We're willing to do it. If you really want to get this potion, it will cost two stacks of diamonds for one potion. Oh, where did those prices even come from? We don't have that many diamonds. Give us at least a small discount, and we'll give one to you. I'm not interested in these cars at all. If you steal them, you'll get a lot more diamonds. You can rob this man and come to me with the diamonds. Let's get out of here, JJ. Apparently, we really have to go robbing his house to earn the diamonds for this potion. It's our only way out. Yeah, it's probably the only way. Friends, we're going to our house right now to get ready for the robbery. I'm sure we can do it. We've done this before, but very rarely. We just want to teach this man a lesson with his fake kindness. He's definitely a crook. Yes, he is. That's the kind of people who become bandits. You can't trust them. That's why we wanted to earn some diamonds from him ourselves. We should be quiet while we're still outside. The villagers treat him very well. If they find out about this, we'll be in trouble. We'll be fine. Don't worry so much about it. We just have to have a plan for how we're going to do all this. We have to wait until nighttime. So, Mikey, the night is coming. Now we can go out for the robbery. I promise it will be very easy. Our main goal is to get in. No matter how we do it, through the door or the window, We'll take masks and a crowbar. We'll break it. We'll get in. We'll take the key to everything he has. And then we'll be incredibly rich. That's a brilliant plan, JJ. We can get everything at once. And buy potions from the witch immediately. That's just really cool. The most important thing is that none of the villagers recognize us. I don't want any trouble. We'll keep a low profile and keep a low profile. The most important thing is that none of the villagers recognize us. I don't want any trouble. We'll be quiet. The quieter, the better. JJ, a lot of the villagers are just starting to go home. We should wait for a while and then go to that house. It's the only way we won't be seen. If you really want to do this robbery very quietly... Yeah, we're getting pretty good at this. There's not much left, Mikey. We can get closer to the house and look at all possible approaches. We've got a full moon. This is just the best time to rob this man and take all his diamonds. It's the only way to do damage to him. That piggy was 100% the one defending that building. Now we'll have plenty of options to get inside. Let's go to the back. There's definitely an entrance or a door. I'll try to break it down with my crowbar. Mikey, that rich man is asleep. This is the perfect opportunity to break into his house and take all his valuables. Oh no, that door won't open. Guess we'll have to go the old-fashioned way. Just break the window and jump in. Oops, JJ, how did we miss that? The main door was open the whole time. We could have just walked in there. It's really awful that that's how we got in. We need to be careful and not make that mistake again. We have to explore everything here. I don't think there will be anything of value on the first floor. He said he hid all his diamonds and treasures upstairs. Let's go upstairs and see if we can find anything. There are only locked balconies. There's nothing of value. JJ, higher still. There's an attic up there. We need to go up there and apparently find something really cool. Woo! Look at all this stuff. There's an incredible amount of chests. They're all closed, but I'm sure there's a lot of diamonds in them. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We need to find that secret key that's ready to open all these chests. It's probably in his room. Then let's go down quietly and try to get it, shall we? Anyway, we don't have any other way out. We really need those diamonds to buy the potion. Break the lock and try to get inside. But do it all very, very quietly. I did it, JJ. Go to the chest and take everything from there. I'll control him so he doesn't get up. Good job, Mikey. Yahoo, we found what we were looking for. It's got the keys to the cars and all his chests. Great. Now that we've found everything, we need to go upstairs as fast as we can, open the chests, and take all the diamonds from there. Here's a carrot for you. Thanks for the keys. We're going to open all your diamond chests and steal them from you. By the way, Mikey, that's right. We need to cover that hole in the glass with something. So he definitely won't realize we did it or just miss it. Good idea, but we're just wasting time. We shouldn't care if he finds out or not. We'll be far enough away by now. Let's go as fast as we can to the chests. I really hope he didn't lie to us, and he really has a lot of diamonds. Now we're going to find out. Open as many chests as you can, and I'll look in them. Wow, there's an incredible amount of diamonds. Like I said, it was easy enough. If he has that many diamonds, we'll take as many as we can get. 
We'll have enough for all our needs. I couldn't even imagine making so much money from cars. Every chest here is completely full of diamonds. It's unbelievable. The more we look at these diamonds, the more we want to take them all. We need to get a few stacks to buy two potions from the witch. We'll keep the rest for ourselves. We can buy a new house, cars, cookies, literally anything we want. I mean, that's incredibly cool. Exactly. We're going to be incredibly rich in our village. Everyone will be jealous of us. We can even start our own business. We can't stay here for long, Mikey. We have to leave the house as soon as possible. A rich man could wake up at any moment. You're right. If he sees us, he'll call the police. It could be very dangerous. Let's run as fast as we can to the witch. Exactly. The sooner we finish this, the sooner we'll be riding in those cars. I mean, they need to be tested to see how they work. I really hope everything goes well. I'm sure these cars are really incredibly cool. We can ride them and have fun. We've already done the hardest part. Now we have to get the potion and get the cars. If anything, we can sell them for more money to someone else. Oh, Mikey and JJ, I see you found the diamonds at his house. Well done. Now you can buy from me and take his cars. That's a really expensive purchase. If it doesn't pay off or doesn't make money, we'll come back for our diamonds. I promise this potion will work. You can walk out of here with confidence. Here's the key to those chests. You can try to get more diamonds from there. Mikey, run as fast as you can. I want to check the cars. We've come a really long way. There's not much left. We'll get his cars and teach him a lesson. Teach him about life. Let's go as fast as we can. Too bad he didn't tell us the secret of turning into an invisible car. That would have helped us. With the amount of diamonds I've gotten myself, we don't need it. We're already very rich. Now we'll have more cool cars. I'm ready. I just don't understand. Do we just throw this potion? and watch them appear? Or how is this supposed to work? It's not like she told us anything. Well, that's probably it. So just throw it and see what happens. Oh, that's a lot of equipment in here. All this stuff you need for these machines. It's all incredibly difficult for me. I'm not even going to try to do anything. And it's not the time. We want to get his cars. Look at what this computer can do. It's a real technological machine. It's the first time I've ever seen anything like it here. Okay, Mikey, let's get to work on these cars. I'll throw the potions one by one, and we'll wait for them to take effect. Come on, let's do it! Whew, Mikey, we did it! That potion really worked and the cars came out. It's one truck and a fire truck. They're not sports cars, but you can ride them too. Let's try to drive the truck. I'm really interested in how it can drive. Friends, look at this. This car is really incredibly big but it drives very slowly, as if something is broken in it. Maybe a wheel? It just seems to me, JJ, that you don't know how to drive a car at all. You should have let me drive. I just don't understand this car at all. I know how to drive, don't tell me that. It's just that it's already broken. And he wanted to sell such a broken car to someone? Or That's ridiculous. No one would take it for a stack of diamonds. Yes, this car is really not worth even a stack of diamonds. It's just awful. I hope the second car will be much nicer to drive. So shall we move on to it? JJ, get out of here. There's some black smoke coming from that car. It's probably about to explode. What? Black smoke? Oh, you were really right. It's just incredibly dangerous. Let's leave this car and go check the other one. It's very good that I noticed that. If we'd missed it, we could have exploded. It's definitely not to be trifled with. Yes, you're right. Let's go and check the second car. But I have a feeling it will be in the same condition or worse. The second car is much better than the last one. It's a fire engine. It's got extra seats. And you can probably shoot water? Yes, it looks really very interesting. But we need to check how it will drive. I've always dreamed of working as a fireman. It's a good profession. Get in, Mikey. We're going to start now. Oh, it's so heavy. But at least she's a little faster than the last one. Just drive it carefully. I don't want it to explode, too. What if we keep this car for ourselves? It's a cool idea. It's definitely not a cool idea, Mikey. We need to try this car as soon as possible and probably destroy it. Destroy this car? No! I don't want to destroy it. I mean, it's a really incredibly cool car that even handles well. You can't do that. Mikey, it handles awful. I can't even turn the steering wheel properly. 
Oh no, we're going in the water. Look out. Try to steer. We can't go in the water. Do it at all costs, but don't drive into the water. Mikey, there's black smoke too. I just had to do it so I wouldn't explode. It was our only way out. Apparently, this rich villager sells broken down cars and cheats people. Let's get revenge on him. Let's completely blow up his house. Let's do it. I've got just the rocket launcher for the job. We got a simpler but effective machine. Now let's go and destroy his house. Yeah, let's do it. Destroy the whole house and everything he has. His garden, diamonds, and of course everything for the machines. Look at that, Mikey. We've completely destroyed his house already. There's nothing left of him. All the diamonds have already fallen down. We can't get them anymore. Good job, JJ. We should go home after this mission and celebrate our big win. We earned a lot of diamonds today. Yes, we will definitely throw a huge party to celebrate our victory. That was incredibly cool and easy. So we will see you all very soon, friends. Bye, everybody.